So what is the future of the Over the Rhine Senior Center? That's what community members and seniors are asking the city after getting notice that its doors might permanently close six days after Thanksgiving due to lack of funding. Not on your sides, Paula Suro is live with the latest on what the city had to say about the matter. Paula. Well, guys, that's exactly right. You know, the Over the Rhine Senior Center, it's a little further down the block from me, but it's might close its doors after more than 30 years of operations. It's a center that's provided more than 17,000 warm meals for seniors just last year and more than 550 hours of activities for them last year. But you know what? Their new home might be just a quick two minute walk down the road here. This building right behind me, the colorful building, that might be their new home and it's the Over the Rhine Recreation Center. Save this center. The signs say it all. When I found out they were going to close the center, you know, my heart dropped to my feet. You know, it's like, oh, no. Community members want to keep the Over the Rhine Senior Center open after its more than 30 year run. Save the center. It's bad elderly. Make things right. Don't evict the seniors. Don't evict the seniors. The seniors called and their call was answered as council member PG Sittenfeld spoke to community members, including Cincinnati Area Senior Services, which operates the center on the phone this morning while this rally took place. But making sure we're doing right by the seniors who for 30 years have gone to the Over the Rhine Senior Center to get a warm meal, uh, in a safe space with people that they know and they care about. Sittenfeld says the center needs $100,000 each year to properly function. He says moving them to the OTR rec center down the street could solve that problem. We are already paying the utility bills. We have staffing there. But they have no kitchen, so Sittenfeld says the city could make a payment to add a kitchen to the rec center. Full preparation for hot meals. You know, that the core of what happens in the OTR Senior Center is this warm meal, the con congregant meal. But to make sure this doesn't happen again, Sinfeld says he wants a solution for long-term senior care. The city has made policy decisions where our human services budget prioritizes uh, homelessness, uh, violence prevention, and addiction treatment. All incredibly worthy things, but I'm not going to sit here and say that those things are more worthy than caring for our seniors. I know that this land is very valuable, but our seniors are more valuable. Now, funding has actually been a problem for the Senior Center for years now. We've got a breakdown of that on our website. And as for the senior levy that passed earlier this month, it actually doesn't apply for the Senior Center. Uh, what goes into that goes um, transportation, health care, and home meal deliveries. Uh, and also the CEO of CAS will be here tomorrow morning just to do a walkthrough and know what to expect. For now, we're live and over the ride. Powell 9 on your side. All right, Paolo, thank you so much.